Hello, so this will just be a very quick update video on a new block that will be coming in Open Computers 1.5.9 and that would be this little fella here. Um, this block is basically usable as a marker for any devices that can use a navigation upgrade. So the navigation upgrade will be able to query for these waypoints in a certain radius and then, well, basically they will know the coordinates of that block and a few other things. Uh, the main purpose of these is to allow writing more generic programs. So one of the bigger issues with writing programs for drones and robots, for example, was that you basically had to hard code uh, certain coordinates where they should interact with certain stuff in the world. And this pretty much addresses that so uh, I have a small program written for my uh, drone here and that's basically a well a no, sort sorting system more or less and uh, one of the two things that the waypoint uh, offers to the navigation card when queried is the uh, redstone level that is going into the block so here we will have a full redstone level and here we have none the other is the label of the redstone block. So if I, let's just start with placing the drone. So if I run this, then it'll just idle here because it will not find any waypoints that uh, have a redstone signal, so none that act as a input. Now if I place uh, this waypoint down here, uh, we'll see there's a little bit of a particle effect going on here. That's basically marking the actual block that gets returned as the position of the waypoint. So this waypoint uh, actually looks like it's in front of here, so above this chest. Now this should allow this drone to find that block. Let me guess, the updating is still broken. Yeah, forgot to recompile. Okay, um, so now the drone knows, okay, there is a uh, waypoint with some redstone going into it and it can now pull stuff from this chest here, so with all sorts of stuff in it. Let's just fill it up some more. And so there's a bit of cabling going here. That's just to feed back the items uh, back into the input chest, so it gets, it keeps going. Um, but now it just keeps going back to its uh, charging station and nothing more. So if I place down a oh, point here now, it'll also find this one. And now it won't only just pick it up, it will also go to this chest and drop whatever it picked up in this chest. So that's the basic logic. Now if I place another one down here, um, if this chest were full, then it would look for the next output. So if I go ahead and take the stone and just, just fill this up, whoops, then it'll try to drop something but it can't, so it goes to the next output inventory. And if that were full as well, then it would go to the next and so on and so forth. So I can have multiple uh, output inventories, basically. So the next thing I can do is, um, per default, so write the labels. So if I right-click a waypoint, you'll see a little text field, and that's how you define the label. So for the input field, it doesn't matter. Uh, for the output ones it does for this little program. So keep in mind that all of this, so all the movement and uh, what it does at the waypoints is actually programmed into the drone. So that's a small little program running on the drone. Uh, the waypoints are really just um, providing the positions for the program running on the drone. So if I go ahead and now enter, let's say, something like this. So what I can enter here uh, is arbitrary track text. What the program running on the drone uses this for is for filtering. So now I defined a filter here, so I entered the text and pressed enter, um, otherwise it won't take. So if I enter something and just press escape, it won't submit that change. Um, now it will also only put stone in here. So let's see, is there some more stone? Will it pick some up? Let's put some more in. And let's say we only want planks here. So this uses the uh, basic item names. 
And now it should only drop uh, wooden planks back there. Uh, or maybe not. Oh wait, yeah, it, it has to update first. So it only um, updates the waypoints when it goes back to the charging station. It's basically just uh, for efficiency and because it's uh, it costs a bit of energy to do the querying. Right, so now it doesn't uh, go to the other two when dropping random things. So let's see, it still picks up that stuff, so let's place some stone in the first slot and some wood in the second slot. And when it picks that up, it should now go to the middle to drop the stone, yeah, and to the right to drop the wooden planks. So yeah, that's the basics, so this way you can write like stuff like this, so sorting systems, and well also mining area programs to define the area in which to mine, all sorts of things, much much easily, uh, much much easier and more dynamic and without changing actual code. So you can just refer to waypoints either by name or by redstone input or whatever, and then you can just run that program over and over again, just configuring it basically by placing the uh, waypoints somewhere in the world. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you like this. Uh, have fun writing more flexible programs. See you around.